Hello everyone, Mr. Weibel here again. Today I'd like to show you this uh, old Bluebird GMC school bus that our local school corporation around here has that they're selling. Uh, they decided to get rid of it because of its age. So I thought I'd do a quick video here of it. Go inside here. The step wheel's badly rusted. Coming in here, there's just a lot of rust and corrosion on this bus. But it is a Bluebird GMC. It's only got 109,643 miles on it. And in the diesel world, that's just barely broke in. Just, it's a real cheap spec bus. It's got hydraulic brakes. Uh, they really don't have any options on it at all. There's the hand parking brake. Just black floor and green seats. One roof hatch. And it's the cheap one with the cheap handle. Standard Indiana spec school bus. Four emergency exit windows. The cameras don't come with it, they're gonna be removed. No tinted windows, of course. Manual entrance door. Go out here. It's got the Caterpillar engine in it. I think it's the 3126. There's the hydraulic brake booster. Like I said earlier, this bus is highly, heavily corroded. As you can see, it's got a lot of rust on it and it has a little bit of a front, a little bit of a leak clear down in there. Don't know if that's the front engine seal or the oil pan. And then this one's got dual stop arms. And There's the back one. Uh, yeah, a lot of rust here. The tires on it look pretty good. It's got a dent right here. And the paint's starting to peel off a lot of the, around the tail lights and up on the eight ways. Let's go underneath and take a look. Yeah, it's... This one would take an extreme amount of work to restore. Lots of rust. Wow. Even up there in the body and the cross members and everything, that would... That would take a lot of work to sandblast all that. And the side of it's got a lot of mildew and stuff. They really, this one hasn't been taken very good care of in the last few years. Got 65 gallon front mount fuel tank. Front tires are about shot. They got about four or five 30 seconds left on them. There's the turbo side of it. Looks like this thing, the seal needs to be put back up. Put that up on there for now. Let's fire it up, see what it sounds like. I used to drive this bus as a spare when I first started driving. Oh yeah.
whole tank of fuel. Yep, I always did like driving these buses. They were just kind of simple, and I think out of all the buses that I've ever driven, these ride the best. I think that's mostly because of the light front suspension. I think it's only 8,000 pound front suspension, so they they ride a lot better than the, the internationals and the freight liners. So I'm not interested in this bus. It's not equipped right. I only buy buses with air brakes and due to the condition of it, really not interested, but you know, this is the last of these old, old buses that they have here at this, even around the whole state here, you just, you just don't see too many of these. That one's a 2001 and like I say, everything else they got are just the the modern cookie cutter buses. Just kind of plain Jane. Nothing really stylish about them. But there it is, and thanks for watching.